Now to the decision that will affect 50,000 students, their parents, as well as teachers in Omaha Public Schools. The whittling down of the search for a new superintendent. OPS has its two final candidates. Both come from urban districts that are bigger than Omaha. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswell. They are Dr. Cheryl Logan, Chief Academic Officer for Philadelphia Public Schools, and Harrison Peters, Deputy Superintendent at Hillsborough County Public Schools in Tampa, Florida. But today what we found in one of their histories is raising eyebrows. Reporter Nick Starling is here with the story. Nick? Well, Jen Craig, barring any last minute surprises, one of these two will likely be the next leader of OPS. But today we're learning more about a controversy involving one candidate. And then there were two. These are the top candidates to lead OPS. Whittled it down to experience with the qualifications of our two candidates. They are Dr. Cheryl Logan and Harrison Peters, both from larger school districts outside the state. I'm surprised that we didn't have a finalist that was from within the district. Alex Gates is a parent of three OPS students. While he wanted someone from within the district, he likes the diversity in the candidates. Someone that, uh, that students in our district will look up to and say, uh, you know, as a leader, as a role model, and I think that's really exciting. But we are learning more about Harrison Peters. I'm upset because the school didn't notify me. Well, it's frustrating because nobody is listening. An investigation by our sister station WFTS in Tampa, Florida, found parents at Hillsborough County Public Schools accused the district and Peters of a cover-up last year. A middle school substitute teacher was accused of performing a sex act in the classroom, and more than a dozen students made complaints. Parents said the district never notified them, and when asked about it, this was Peter's response. What if I told you that I called personally mm -hmm. all the parents mm -hmm. on the list in the police report, yeah. and they were learning about it from the first time from me? Mm -hmm. I mean, that could be fair. That still doesn't mean that the principal didn't reach out to each parent. You're saying parents were supportive yeah. of how she handled it. Yeah. Which parents? Because I don't know yeah, well, one I, we're, that we're was not, notified. I don't have a list of parents, um, but I can tell you just as if you've got your intel, we've also got our intel. Something parents in Omaha are taking notice of. We need honesty, you know, uh, and we can't, I know, I understand that um, they, they can't be responsible for every action of every, you know, every employee, but at the same time, um, being open and honest about that with the community uh, is really important. Now that substitute teacher in Tampa was fired. OPS says they're going to forward this information to the search firm Ray and Associates. I reached out to Harrison Peters, but he has not responded to my request for comment on that issue. Now, if you want to meet the candidates, they will be at the TAC building Tuesday evening from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Reporting live in studio, Nick Starling, 3 News Now.